it's aimed at anybody who wants to make a documentary or a movie or write a book uh, because everybody else thinks it's easy. It ain't. Hi, I'm Tony Klinger, public speaker, academic, writer and filmmaker. You couldn't recreate a film like that. Um, it, it, normal people couldn't do it. And I guess we were either abnormal or subnormal <laughs> because we, we managed to survive it. Don't be alarmed. I think I know what's going on. This is the key ingredient. Without this person, nothing happens. I used to hate doing this. I wouldn't write a synopsis without. I say, read the bloody script, read the book. Now I realise how stupid I was. How to submit to a publisher, which is not really a trick. How to get an agent, and how to approach a commission and editor, because you can't hide your light under a bushel. You have to get out there and make yourself known. Very important. Now I love writing. I probably couldn't really exist without writing. The thing that sets me apart is that I write for money. <laughs> I, I feel guilty even saying that. Writing for money means not only do I have to like it, but you have to like it. Uh, you have Keith Moon doing crazy stuff. You have Pete Townsend not talking to anybody. You have Ringo Starr, you know, being Ringo Starr. We were filming the scene in Shadow the Devil, if you've seen it, but well, there's this huge raft. We, they push out to the sea, go through the breakers, and I can see that other than the stunt level, none of them can swim. <laughs> I just, couldn't face the insurance plane. So I swim out and I get the first fight and he's like holding on tight. And I roll with this thing onto the beach where I'm lying there, prostrate, <laughs> couldn't breathe. And the director, second unit, who went on to do the Bond films, John Glenn, came to me and says, Okay, Tony. I, I went, Tony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, next shot over here. This kid's got a left. This kid's got a right. It's aimed at anybody who wants to make a documentary or a movie or write a book or deal with people in those industries because you'll get a better understanding of what it is to do this kind of work. Uh, because everybody else thinks it's easy. It ain't. How to get the movie made, understanding how all the bits fit together and then knit and then we can make it happen. Good is lovely, but it's not good enough. We want to be great and to be great you have to strive and to strive successfully we have to have confidence. So that's what I talk about and how to achieve that.